Hey guys, it's Michelle, and today I'm going to be continuing with Slime Rancher. Right, on the last episode I went ahead and opened the lab, and on this episode what I want to do now is I want to properly get my treasure chest unlocked. So somebody mentioned that it's actually in here. So let's go ahead and purchase this, 4,500 coins. I did go off camera and collect up some more plorts and feed my slime, so I made a little bit of money so I could do this today. Right, so let's go ahead and purchase. While I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and purchase these as well. There we go. So I purchased those. Just make sure to double check it didn't upgrade, uh, update or anything. Right, so now I'm down to 9,000 and I should be able to crack the treasure chest now. But before I do anything else, I want to go ahead, go to my 7Z Rewards Club, and I'm going to go ahead and upgrade this. Alright, so I upgraded that, and I could potentially go for another one, but I'm going to wait. Right. Ooh, look at that. So it's slowly upgrading my ranch with aesthetics, so that's really cool. Go over here, and I'm going to go ahead and activate this. Easy, easy money. Collect some of these. I need four of those in two tabbies. Alright, let's go get the tabby slime. Look at all those plorts. Wow. Now, I have to constantly remember to go to my chicken coop now and take out the the hens in here and feed them. So what do I need? Tabby plorts. Let's see. I actually went ahead too and put an auto feeder on here just to test it and play around with it. And I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you what do you know? Because right now it's on medium. I had it on slow. Slow seemed to take forever and they were hungry. I'm still playing around with it. Right, so let's go ahead and while I'm here, I'm going to weed these hens out. Let's see how many. One, two, three, four. Put the chick out. And these things are so destructive, like, <laughs> every time I go near, I get hurt. Put those in there. my two hunter slimes. And let's go ahead and finish off this reward over here. And that's it! So I got... Oh, and this is the new chicken too. The striped chicken. The briar hen. Right, I do want the mangoes. Those hens are awesome. Let me pop away some of these plorts so that I can properly use the mango and the briar hen. Now, I know I need to grow more fruits and vegetables and everything. I have these two plots and I also went ahead off camera and I looked at putting more nutrients into my vegetable garden as well as putting a sprinkler system in so I don't have to constantly run up to it and put water. Um, I think these things right here, these scarecrows, are only for scaring off certain slime, but I'm not 100% certain on that. Right, let's go ahead and take my briar hen. Actually, you know what? Because I'm not really going to need those. I don't have a briar rooster, I don't think, to breed with. Let's go over here. I did put a sprinkler system on this too, and I'll show you how I set that up. So I go over here. Let's build a garden. Let's go ahead and put a nutrient soil. Mix of crops always yield the maximum harvest, which is good. I have a lot of slimes I need to feed. Uh, sprinkler, purchase that. And I don't really need this right now. So, I'm just going to wait on that. 
put my mint mango in here. That is an awesome looking tree. Right, so this is activated and these will grow now. So look at that. And I didn't even check to see if the mango was a f I'm, I'm positive the mango's got to be a fruit. Let me see. Yep, it's a fruit. So I only have like two fruit eaters, but I can always take those plorts there. And when I do my um, when I do my mutations, I can just feed it to the pinks because I'll eat everything. Let's go ahead and feed the rest of the stuff to these guys. There was one thing in the lab that I wanted to play around with, and it was the teleporter. So let me just feed these guys. And let's go to my teleporter. Now, I have plots over here too, so I could potentially put my mutations over here. Some of them at least. Some of the nicer ones. Right, so there's the pump. The apiary? I hope I'm saying that right. Allows you to collect resources from wild bees. I was really interested in this, guys. The helper drone. Um, as well as the, the pink warp. A set of two gadgets allows you to remotely transfer resources. Oh, no, no, no. It was a teleporter. So let's go ahead and purchase the teleporter. Let's also purchase... That's not a bad thing to, to grab, though. The warp. I want to play around with the drone. And I'd like to play around with the pink warp as well, because that sounds awesome. Right. So there's my tea, remember that. Now, is it going to make me go over here to the refinery? Yes, it is. Huh. Guys, I'm not entirely sure what a quantum plort is. How to get wild honey, a hexcomb. I did find a hexcomb while I was out. The jelly stones. That, um, this drill right here actually gave me the hex, um, not the hexcombs, but what is it called? The jelly stone, yes. Um, I have hunters, I have honey slimes. Guys, if you know how to get this, the quantum plort, because that comes from a, a slime I don't have, let me know in the comments. A warp technology. Can I do this? No, I cannot. A diamond. Huh. Well, I guess I can't play around with this just yet. What I can do, though, is I can actually go around and crack some treasure pods. So this is what I've collected so far. I did manage to find off-camera a gold plort, which I was really excited about. I only had a couple of seconds while I was feeding my slimes, and I shot a carrot at it, and it ate it, then disappeared. So it might be a good idea to take a couple carrots with me, just in case. Oh, I forgot about these. And it came from one of those pink, like, the pink golden slimes. Alright, you guys are fed. You have plorts, but I'll collect those later. What I'm thinking about doing now is I need to go out and look around for those pods. So, where was one? Let me think. There was one. I think it was... Oh yes, it was by the where that Gordo slime was. The cat one. Let's go over there. Let's fly. Alright, so there's one over here. I still haven't gone over there. So I'll go over there a little bit later. Oh, not here. E to open the pod. Blueprint. This soft pink grass makes for a lovely place to take a nap. Huh. 
the blueprint? Visit the fabricator to build this gadget. Okay. I've not been over here properly, so let's take a look, guys. It's a danger zone as well. I've not grown those yet, so let's take some of those. Try to clear my inventory space as much as possible. Let's go up this way. That's a dead end. And there's a door. Okay. Oh, and a box. Alright, I don't really need that. But I need a slime key. And I haven't even seen any more Gordo slimes. I probably missed one, but I just haven't seen it properly. So this is... Oh, a box. Okay, take that. Alright, let's go ahead and let's go back out. That one area where I got the hunter slime, I did not get a chance to actually explore that area too well. I know I need to start doing mutations as well too. Because then that'll make it easier to feed. Because I believe those will eat everything. Let me see. Yeah. There's more areas for me to unlock too for my ranch. I have a little bit of money where I could do that. But then again, I don't have enough money to actually start saving up for like corrals and stuff like that or purchases for any up upgrades right so let's go back and let's see oh look at that the new little sign right so let's go over this way what was I gonna grab I know what I want to do. I want to grow one of these real quick. At least have some food everywhere. Do a garden? Fruit cocktail. <laughs> purchase and purchase. There we go. Ah, oh, that's good looking. Okay. Let me go ahead. Will this take these? This machine? Nope. Oh. The pink grass. Let me take a look. If it was over here. I think this right here would be pretty cool to have. Just as a, like an aesthetic. There's the pink grass, guys. Decoration. Cool grass. Puddle ports, pink ports, deep brine, which I do not have. This soft pink grass makes for a lovely place to nap. Okay, that's just decoration though. So, these treasure pods all around the map are going to be very important for me to open. Because I guess they'll have blueprints in them that I'll need eventually. What's this? Oh, this is where I can upgrade the color scheme. Uh, I like purple, but that that pink's not bad. Uh, it's a little... Nah. To be honest, I kind of like the classic. Yeah, it's kind of dark. I'm gonna go with classic, just keep it there. Alright. Eat away, guys. Let's do this in the morning so that there's proper light. Alright, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm actually gonna head out and I am going to. Okay. I'm going to head out and explore some of the map on the far edge. And if I see anything that I like, I can collect it up. There's my lamp. 
do you guys know what those slime toys actually do? Because it doesn't actually seem like they're doing too much. There's a... There was a, um... Like a little tabby ball. Like a little yarn thing. I know I saw that. Hello? A more advanced treasure cracker is required. Oh. So I can only do green right now. Hmm. There's one. Minty grass patch. So I think this is just aesthetics, really. But at least the green might be. Let's see if there's any hiding up here. Some stony hens. Right. Hop down here. Oh, little puddle slimes. Okay, let's go ahead and head out this way. My stamina is so much better now, though. I don't see any treasure pods. Wasn't there one? Yes, there was one here. Oh, what's that? Oh, I got the diamond, guys. That's awesome. Uh, let me go back. And I just want to check this area out and make sure that there's no pods here. A very strange diamond, but even more valuable. Yes, that's one of the things that I need for my um, teleporter. Or at least one of them. Okay. No treasure pods here. Not sure if there's a treasure pod in every... Like, how many are in each location, because it seems like there should be at least one. Okay. Let's go head back. Let's go down this way. Up here. And I think there was a treasure pod somewhere in this area. Probably up there. Alright, but how do I get over there? Because it looks like I can hover up here. Uh-oh. There we go. Oh, I see that purple one over there. That's well hidden. Okay, so let's continue on. <gasps> there it is, guys! Oh, that's the, um... That is the gold slime right there, and that is a regular one. So what I need to do is feed it a chicken or something and not be seen by it. Because as soon as it sees me, it's going to get spooked. the wrong one. Did it eat it? <gasps> Look guys! I collected that as fast as I could. Oh, how do I get out? There we go. This is a different area. Um, yeah, so look at that guys. In the bottom, I got the gold plort. Can I open these ones? No. So, it looks like from what I've seen on the map, there's blue, or excuse me, green. Maybe it's then blue and then purple. Purple looks like that should be the more, like, high up one, but it's probably the other way around. Okay, let's go this away. And I am definitely holding on to that floor because that thing is probably going to give me about 500 coins. This teleporter here takes me directly back home. So let's go up here. There's another blue. Care 
carefully go down. There's a purple one over there, guys. You see it? Let's go this way. And... Let's see. Let's see. I know there's got to be one around here. Maybe not. There might be one over there. Let's go down this way. Some peaceful music. I still have to do this door right here. I'm afraid though that whatever that is, it might be end game, and I don't want to end anything just yet. Okay. Look, there are the chickens and the hens and the roosters. Any treasure pods down here hiding? Carrots, mushrooms. Now, if there's a green pod in this area, I bet it's well hidden. Because it's blending in. Alright, anything up on this ledge? Nope. Hop down here. Okay. I haven't been here in a little bit. And to be honest, I really haven't navigated it well enough to know where things are properly located. So I might get lost. Nothing up here? I eventually would like to take these different hens too, make a separate ch ch uh, like a different chicken coop. So that way I have more to feed my um, meat eaters as well. I just like to have a little bit of variety. Let's see if I can hop up here. Okay, any treasure pods? Yep, there's one right there, but it's purple. And I'm kind of doing this too because I will forget where they are, so it's a good idea just to run around the map and see where things are located. Nice grassy area up here. Is this a ramp? Little corner, little hidey place. <gasps> There's one! What am I gonna get? Wildflower patch. Oh, that's really pretty. When I make enough money on here, and when I collect enough of resources, I'm gonna definitely have to play around with those. Let's fly up here if I can. That was to let me know where the map was. Fly over. Let's go up and over. ramp to go down. Uh, let's see. That's an area over there that I went to before. Oh, a green pod. Come on, buddy. <gasps> Honey! Ooh, I need the royal jelly. Alright, I'll have to come back for it. Um, let me go ahead and make a trip home real quick, and then I will come back for this. Right, and I'm back home. I came through the teleporter. And let's go ahead, and while I'm here, I'm going to put away this. My gold plort. Now, I see that. That looks like it's honey, so I'm wondering... Wild honey. Will that give me ports? No, because it says food type none. Right. So let's go over here. Let's deposit these. Oh, look, they've grown. Alright, deposit the honey. Put the diamond in. 
and I put those in. So what? Can, how can I build my warp? Pink war no teleporter. So I got the diamond. I need four hex combs, deep brine if I see that, and then the pink ports. So that's easy to get. Really, it's just these two I need to be looking out for: deep brine and honeycomb or hexacomb. And I know that I can make the drill so that I could get resources. What did the drill require again? Pink plorts, rock plorts, and rad plorts. You know what? It probably would be a good idea while I go back out just to have one ready and built. I could even build a couple maybe. Let's build a couple. You guys are hungry because you need I need plorts from you. And make a drill. And I wonder if in different areas it yields different kinds of resources. Turn that on. There we are. Let's go ahead and feed the other ones before this expires. I'm almost full, holy crap. Yep, there we are. Feed you guys. There we are. And let's go ahead and feed these, because I need the pink plorts. Turn this on. Oh, wow. I've got 91. Collect up as much as I can. And guys, I'm going to dump all these. The ones I've just collected, even though I know it'll make me quite a bit of money. I'm gonna go ahead and just dump it in because I will need to build a couple of these. So why not just put them all in? Plus I can make those plorts back pretty quickly. There we are. Right, so now Yep, I've got those. Honey plorts, quantum plorts. Mm hmm. I can build. Wow. Puddle plorts. Okay. Let me go ahead and build the drill. Oh, I can make a couple. Um, just for right now, I'm gonna have one. And I am going to try it. I'm going to put it in the same exact area. Because I remember what it gave me last time. And let's see if it gives me the exact same resource. Turn that off. Right, and I'm going to head back to the same area because I need to pick up that piece that I left behind. So let me sleep until morning. Alright, there we go, good morning. And I'm gonna save a bit of time and I'm gonna cut there, okay? Right, and I'm back and I'm gonna go ahead and collect that up. Royal Jelly. Okay, so I've collected that. Now let's take a look around here and see what else I can grab and harvest. So, what was it, back over here? Yeah, there's a place I can go down. That's where I actually grab my hunter slime. But I don't know if I really had a chance to go... Hmm. If I had a chance to really go through and check this area out. No, look at that. It's a pink honey... <gasps> honey slime! Oh, I already have that. <laughs> For a minute. I was really excited. I thought I found a new slime. Alright, so he mutated. Plorts. Another honey. 
I can go up to the left. Is there anything over here to the right? Mushroom up there. Oh, a green pod. Okay. Let's go ahead and open this. Amber slime ramp. Decorative slime ramp. Okay. Ramp. Lamp. I mean. <laughs> Alright, so I can make another lamp. Let's go over here. Let's go up here into this little hollowed out tree. Sounds a bit dangerous. A box. Huddle slimes. Hmm. Have I been in this area? I don't think I have when I explored it. I was kind of preoccupied about getting my slimes home. Little puddle slimes. Where are you at? Okay. Alright, those are mutating. There's a box over there. Some chickens. There's gotta be a Gordo slime, maybe. Because I don't know if I've actually seen one in this area. Let's see if there's any hidey things over here. And there's a teleporter here. And it's showing an icon of my ranch. I'm a little bit worried to step on that because then I'll have to come all the way back here. Let's try it and see, though. <laughs> yep, I'm back home. That's alright. I just wish I could actually teleport, like, get on that teleporter and go to another place. I'm gonna go ahead and pop my jelly in here. Royal jelly. There we go. Alright, so I've got that guy going. I got everything growing up pretty good. Um, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to definitely get more coins. I need to upgrade my ranch as much as possible. Let's see if I can actually do that before I go. Go to the 7C Club Rewards. Because for me to get some of those things, I need to unlock more treasure pods, it seems like. There we are, 4,000. That should be enough to upgrade, right? Yep, 3,500. Let's return to the ranch. Anything for me? Nope. Yeah, so what I need to do is I still have to do my mutations. I need more upgrades for the 7Z because I really would like to eventually be able to open the other pods. Maybe there's even better resources in there. Expand the ranch. And I need to still check out that, that door, that mysterious door that I saw where I had to feed it plorts in those little statues. And I'm not really sure if that's an end game thing or not, like if there's actually an end game to this. Or if you just continue farming for resources. But I am going to check it out eventually. Let's see. <laughs> the little noises they make is actually pretty funny. Uh, my hunter slime here. They don't give me a lot of plorts, but... They are worth a lot, because I don't have that many. Collect up you guys. And let's collect up my tabbies. They don't have any chickens in that collector. Let's see if I can upgrade one more time before I get off. 
Yep, 60 for those. Okay, and let's collect... I know I left some behind. Let's go over here to my fruit slimes, my honey slime, and my phosphor slimes. They've got to have something for me. Oh yes they do. Alright, let's go over here. And let's get cracking this... back over here. There we are. Alright, do I have enough to upgrade? 4,000, yes I do. Let's purchase that. There we are. I've got mail. Wow, that upgrade for the other treasure pod must be really far down the line. Check my mail. Uh-huh. Just a congratulation. Slime toys can be purchased from the shop. So I can actually buy the slime toys. Alright guys, and that's going to do it for this episode of Slime Rancher. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.